Last July, two women in recovery from meth addiction opened up a sober living house in Sioux Falls. Six months later, they now have four sober living homes in the city. And the latest one is for women and children, and it has a special connection to Emily's Hope, the charity Angela Kennedy started after the overdose death of her daughter in 2018. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Angela introduces you to a woman living in Emily's Hope Oxford house who is becoming the mom she was always meant to be with the help of a safe and sober place to live. Monique Marival has been on her own since the age of 17. My parents being addicts, my parents going to prison. Years later, she broke a vow to never go down the same path. I tried meth and then I couldn't stop. I didn't understand addiction, I didn't understand addicts. I thought they were very selfish, um, that they just would, didn't love their children, their life or anything like that. And so I became an addict. And you did the same thing? Yeah. Is that hard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marivel said meth made her ADHD brain feel normal. Her life became anything but. She spiraled out of control, eventually losing custody of her kids and winding up in prison. A few months following her release, she moved into the Emily's Hope Oxford house in Sioux Falls, where Marivel worked hard to get her two children, three-year-old Waylon and two-year-old Janique, back. It was like we we're just we we're never apart, and and I had I struggled with that because I was like, what if they um, regress? What if they they don't want to be with me? What if they cry when they they leave? You know, the foster mom, but it wasn't like that. They were just they wanted their mom. Our children may have lived in chaos for a while, and so learning that structure again on how to help your children without being high or drunk. It's a learning process. It takes time. I love your dress. Rebecca Hungerford knows that firsthand. She and her friend Rebecca Skinner are both in recovery for meth addiction. These are personal experiences. These are things that I have personally gone through in my life. I've been that. I've been that mom. Skinner and Hungerford started the Oxford Houses in Sioux Falls and named this one for mothers and their children the Emily's Hope House. When I saw Emily's story, it touched me uh, very immensely. And the idea of opening up a recovery house had always just been on my list of things that one day I would like to do. Something in her story just spoke to my heart and I just said, why not now? It's needed. I don't want to see brilliant young people losing their brilliant futures. The Emily's Hope organization donated a computer, art supplies, and even a wagon. The children living in the home opened up the gifts on Christmas. All those kids being able to open up all those gifts and the looks on their faces, it was just uh, was a magical day for them. It's a little angry spot. Now we've got a peaceful spot. The presents included books for children on dealing with a parent's addiction and their own emotions. She's happy. Yeah, and she, she, yeah, she spilled. It's hard though. Yeah, he can't find it. The kids being able to just play as children and work on art projects, paint and color, and be kids. That's really pretty. Emily's Hope has donated framed prints of Emily's paintings to hang on the walls here. It's a reminder that Emily's Hope lives on through the women and children who live here. The far-reaching effects of one person having the disease of addiction is incredible. And so when I say it takes a community to put all this together, uh, that it's truly what it is. It takes a community. The residents must be active in recovery groups, and if they use alcohol or drugs, they aren't allowed to stay. It's not easy. They're paying their own way. They have to pay rent. They have a chore. They have to get a job, um, take care of their children. All the moms sign a parent contract. Marable hasn't used in more than a year. That's the longest she has remained sober after several attempts to quit. What will keep you in recovery? My children, being with my children, being with positive support. I have support that I never had before. And what does it mean for your kids to have their mom? Um, probably the world, I guess, I hope. <laughs> I see the happiness when I walk in here and I see the kids smiling 
and happy in their playing. And I see the progress with the moms and that's something that's gonna be carried with them forever. Women are encouraged to live in the Emily's Hope House for a year, which allows their children to count on a safe and stable environment as their mothers reclaim their lives from the grip of addiction. <laughs> with Eye on Cuddleland, I'm Angela Kennecke. The founders of Sioux Falls' Oxford Sober Living House Network say that the need for sober living is much greater than what's available. Even with four houses, they still turn people away because they're full. They are hoping to get funds to hire a coordinator for the home soon. To find out more about the Oxford Sober Living House Network in Sioux Falls, we have put a link to the organization's Facebook page on this story on Kelloland.com.